what is up youtube i am back with another video and this is a q and a answering all the questions from like maybe three to four years ago and recent questions so first question is how long is my hair um i don't know i don't know but it's close to my butt Almost to my butt, close to my butt. I don't know. Well, I'm probably like maybe. I don't know, y'all. I don't really measure it. Okay. What are your dreams and aspirations? Um, I just want to be happy, but I do want to become a computer engineer. My favorite genre of music, as of right now, has got to be R&B soul. R&B soul is my favorite, as of right now. Who do I watch on YouTube? I watch everybody on YouTube. I don't have a specific person that I watch. Most of the time I'm watching tech videos because I love technology. I have like the newest everything, you know, computers, iPhone 10s, cameras, um, ring lights, uh, like everything, cases, just, I love everything, but I love watching tech videos more often. Can I have your number? Since I'm single and I'm mingling, no, I'm not. Um, yeah, you have my number if I knew who you were and we knew each other. You definitely have my number. What do you What do you love to do? I love to laugh. Like I'm a laugher. I crack jokes. I'm I'm laughing at different stuff. I'm one of those insensitive people that laugh. Like I laugh about shit I shouldn't even be laughing about. But it's funny to me. It's kind of like my humor. My, my humor is very like very bland. So my bad if something happened and I laugh. You know what I mean? Just gotta know my personality. Do you have a crush on someone? <clears throat> I did have a crush on someone, but right now I don't. She kind of like ruined <laughs> my crushing phase. I had a crush on her, I've been having a crush on her for about maybe two years. But after she told me about myself, which was like the absolute truth, I suck with women. I just, I don't know, just, I don't know. I still like her, I think she's still attractive. I think she's a beautiful being, I just, I don't really crush anymore right now. I'm just not ready to crush. So, no, I did, no, I don't. How many girls have you dated in the last year? Why y'all nosy, bro? Like, not that many. Just no, not that many. Who do you love? Um, I love my side chicks. I love my baby moms. I love my main chick. I love the women who, you know, got my back, you know, give me gas money to drive and stuff, who changed my brakes, who changed my oil, who got my car fixed. I love all y'all. Get yeah, no, I'm playing right. Um, I love my sister and I love my mom. I love family. I love my family. So, what do you fear? I fear dying and nobody knowing that I'm dead because I'm so intro. I'm such an introvert sometimes. Like, me being an introvert, like, I'm always in my room, obviously I'm in my room right now. I'm always in my room, I'm always quiet, so if I was to die, people would just know me think I'm just in my room, so, so I don't wanna die alone. Name one thing you regret. I think everything's a lesson, so um, one thing I regret. I regret dating this woman, she's from Texas, story time right so I was dating this woman in Texas um she's very young younger than me and I wasn't ready for anything serious and I thought I was at the time but when you're really listen up people when you're really ready to be in a relationship flaws and all are loved so I wasn't ready to love her flaws and all and be patient with her growth I wasn't I wasn't patient with her growth so therefore I would get agitated and I felt like I was trying to change her as a woman and that's something that you should never try to do never change somebody let them grow and change for themselves or for you so I regret um, not being there for her and not understanding what I needed from myself and what she needed from me I couldn't give so I regret just dating in general when I really wasn't ready to date <clears throat> Cause she could have been a perfect wife. She got rid of that badass attitude. That motherfucker got a badass attitude, bro. Next question. Um, do you love cats or dogs? I obviously don't like any of them. I like actually, I like dogs. 
I prefer a dog over a cat. I have a cat right now, and he's an asshole. What is your pet peeves? Listen, let me take, I don't know if it's just me, but my pet peeves are basically, if you're showering and you step out of the out of the shower with your feet wet and it touches the floor and you don't dry your feet off, it's a pet peeve. I got a problem. I got an attitude. Next question. How old are you? I am old, okay? I'm about 27 years old and I'm still getting older and older and older by the minute. I'm a Scorpio, was born in the 90s. Um have you dated since Kathy? Yes, I've dated since Kathy. And the other part of the question, what happened between you and Kathy? All right, I feel like, <clears throat> how can I answer this in like the most respectful way? So, me and Kathy were over like at the end of 2015, maybe? We just outgrew each other. She wanted something from me. I wanted something from her. We wasn't giving it to each other. We were very evil, me per se, to her. And I ended up pushing her into somebody else's arm, which is perfectly fine. But I just wasn't happy. She wasn't happy. She moved on. She's happy. Cool beans, you know? We just didn't work. She, I deserved better. She deserved better. Okay. Where are you from? Man, I'm from Mississippi, man. You know, you feel me? Mississippi, you feel me? I was born in Germany. People don't believe me, but I was born in Germany. Germany, I was where I was born at. <coughs> <clears throat> but I'm from Mississippi, y'all. What is the type of, what is your type of girl? My type of girl is, I like a bald-headed Nigerian. Like chocolate and just bald head and her structures are so like strong like African black woman type strong with pretty white teeth and just like fucking beautiful that is like my type of woman like my type of woman is just oh, oh, girl, I want a Viola Davis no okay okay all right I'm forcing it I want somebody who's naturally beautiful with makeup or without makeup I feel like makeup should enhance your beauty not change your beauty so just anybody that's natural you acne I don't give a fuck I love acne kind of like it's like a, your little freckles you know I did a girl with a lot of acne you know what I'm saying people like she's ugly she was beautiful to me so I I really have a preference I love the heart so if you have a genuine heart I will fuck with you if I like you I have to have some type of attraction to you are you dating anyone right now? Right now, I'm focused on me. Right now, I'm single. Right now, I'm just handling my business, trying to get my shit together, get my life on track. I feel like I've been so codependent on women lately that I need to do what makes me happy. Like, I used to have a mindset of like, oh, I'm gonna move in with her. And I'd be like, okay, she can move in with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want my own shit, so that's, that's what I'm focused on right now. And if I meet somebody or if I see somebody that I like, I might, um, no, I won't talk to them. No, like, they're gonna have to hit me up. Like, I've tried that being bold shit. It's just not in my forte. Like, I, I, I don't know what else to do. I'm just over it. So, right now, I'm not dating anyone. I would like to meet new people, beautiful women, you know, shoot your shot. But, in reality, I don't want nobody from here. I want somebody, <laughs> I want an international woman. A woman from London. She can be from the States. I don't care. Just not in Boston. I don't know anybody from Boston. What do I use on my hair? I don't know. I have a spray bottle with like coconut oil, shea, shea butter oil, uh, water, and like some other organic oils that I mixed up, put it in the microwave, put it in a bottle of water, shook it up, sprayed. And that's what I use. And how long have you been single? Since 2015. So 16, 17, 18. About three years. Three years I've been single. It gets boring sometimes like really really boring like there are days where i don't mind wanting somebody to cuddle with sorry i got a text message anywho there's days where my phone is like absolutely dry like right now it's dry with a lot of like fingerprints and stuff because my fingers are oily very very dry very very dry come on See that just just very dry no text messages nothing um but i'm not lonely i just 
I just be like alone sometimes. I don't know. I just here's the thing about like love and situationships and stuff like that. So I want to be in love, but I don't want to be forced loved. So I want to meet somebody randomly and just feel those sparks because when you feel those sparks, it's amazing. But when you have felt heartache and pain, it's like, damn, do I really want to try this shit again? You get what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like, I'm okay with being alone right now. I, I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready to be in anything serious. And I'm cool with that. Like, I'm fucking cool. I'm happy with it. I've been emotional lately. So, and I'm figuring me out. I'm figuring who I am as a woman, who I am as a human being, as a gay woman, whatever the fuck you want to call me. I don't know. I'm, I'm figuring it out. And I'm trying. So, you know, bear with me.